get a white female and a black female that rob a drugstore. And then they ran off inside the apartment. There'll be three kids inside, plus one. I don't like this. What is your name? Amy Monday. Amy Monday? Who else is inside the apartment? What did I do? Why would I do that? Listen, okay. We are here because we understand that you possibly were involved in a robbery. What I about didn't that? rob anybody. Um, I didn't. What do Look you mean? at me now. Me and her were walking out to get a cigarette out of my car, and y'all just put guns in my face. Okay. I didn't know what was going on. I haven't okay. done anything. We've ID'd the uh, white woman as the female suspect that allegedly robbed the store for the baby supplies. What drugs did you take today? What drugs did I take today? Yes. I smoked uh, some marijuana. Today. What time? Way earlier. Way earlier? Okay. Have you taken anything else? Are you sure? Okay. Now we're going to speak to the other woman who apparently lives at the apartment and see if she can give us any more information about who might still be inside. Okay. You live there. This now is this, my residence. This is what I'm understanding. There's you, this young lady here, your boyfriend. Uh -huh. What is your boyfriend's name again? Cornelius, spell that C. Cornelius, I ain't never tried to spell it. Um, He's your boyfriend, not mine. Trust me, yeah. I know. <laughs> Two females have already come out of the uh, apartment, and uh, they left all the kids inside. Well, OK. We just want to account for everybody, OK? I understand that. All right? From what we understand, the apartment owner's boyfriend, Cornelius, who allegedly robbed the drugstore, is still inside. There's also two other males, a babysitter and four kids. A lot of people in the apartment and it's getting more and more complicated. I'm gonna show you the, a layout of the apartment, and I just want you to tell me where everybody is so that we know, so that if we have to go in there, we know where your kids are and we can take care of them. Okay. Okay? Who's in the bedroom? My two kids, there's two beds. There's a boy and a girl in there. Do you? or anyone that, that would be in there have a gun? Nobody has a gun. Nobody has a I gun. I don't let people, I have kids. Right. I don't let people in my house with guns. Okay. I'm not that type of person. Okay. Right now, you're not in trouble. Okay. Okay? But because we have a situation, we have to make sure everybody's secured. I understand. And we have to make sure everybody's it's safe. It's embarrassing. I ain't never got a drug on my uh, life before. Uh, it'll be all right. Bad, so. What are your kids' names? DeAndre, Nevada, Ariel, my father. Okay. They'll be all right. The baby is one and a half. Ariel is like four months. We're going to take care of them, OK? There's uh, only one entrance point to the house right now, and, it, and this is it. So if we make entry, we'll do it from this side. We got four kids in there, and it changes a lot of the things that we do. As you can see, this is what I'm worried about right here. The children become our main priority. And if that means we have to make an emergency assault to get them out safely, that's what we'll do. Try to make contact with them. We're gonna try to loud hello over the PA system and uh, hopefully we can get the kids out if, if nobody else wants to come out. Hey Jay, we're ready when you are. Okay. This is the Dallas Police SWAT team. We're outside of your apartment. Everybody needs to come out of the front door right now. There's nowhere you can go, there's nothing you can do. For the safety of yourself, and the kids inside. You need to come out of the front door now. Hey, 
844 to 880. Sounds like they could be trying to knock through an interior wall. We need to check this apartment. Uh, the patrol guy said they cleared it. Yeah, but it sounds like they're digging through the walls. That might be our suspects burrowing in there. They're trying to uh, dig into an adjacent apartment, so we have to make sure they don't get in there. So this apartment's all been evacuated. The ones in the back. The ones in the back are clear. We never want to try to damage property that belongs to an innocent person. But in this case, they're trying to get through the walls from one apartment to another. Looks like we're going to have to break into the apartment next door just to prevent that from happening, because we can't let them escape that way. I'm going to bust out this window, and when we're going to go in here. Roger that. Hello. We're ready to go? Yeah. Everybody inside the apartment needs to come out. I can hear them talking, but I can't tell what they're doing. There's kids crying in there. So you need to be smart. You think about it, no reason for you to stay in. Why don't you come out with the kids? We can't change what has happened. We don't want this to get any worse. Open the front door, nobody's gonna hurt you. But we need to get those kids out of there. Doors open. There you go, open the door. Come on out. Hey, y'all, man, look, though, man. Don't be rushing in with no business. Just get the kids out there. Nobody wants to hurt you. Here we go. Be advised we have made contact. Come on out with kids. Everybody inside, just come out. Say, my hands already up. No. Okay, one at a time. Down, down, man. Put down them guns, man. It's policy. Nobody's going to hurt you. There should be just enough people if everybody grabs one of the kids and get this thing over with. There you go, buddy. Walk out the kid. Nobody's going to hurt you. He said everybody inside? You got them both? Are they all OK? All the kids are out. Um, we still don't know where our main suspect, Carnelius, is. Listen, we need to know if there's anybody else inside there. Who's ever inside could get hurt. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Is there someone else inside? Huh? OK, so 10-4, there is one more person inside. You think there is one more person inside? 10-4. We have one hospital. Ladon, all the kids are out. They're all safe. Let's take care of Cornelius. Does he use drugs? Could he have been smoking dope or anything and then just, you know, not coherent enough? OK. Cornelius, we know you're still inside. You got to listen to me, man. Everybody else is out. Everybody's safe. Fortunately, I can't change what happened earlier. That was your doing, but we don't want this to get any worse. There's no real reason for you to stay inside. This deal is over with. You need to listen to me and walk out of the front door. Nothing good can happen when you're still inside the apartment. Cornelius. Suspects at the door. Suspects at the door. There you go. Hands up and walk on out. Come on out. I need to see your hand. Stop right there. Turn around. Back up. Just back up. Back up. Don't get out of ground. I said back up. That's what I'm talking about. Back up. It's lock your fingers on your head. There you go. Perfect. Walk back. OK. All right. We're back, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back. Do was trying to calm the situation down because it's already intense when, when they look out and see the Dallas SWAT here. So I assure them, especially when you get somebody out first, that it's, it's, it's simple after that. Catch your breath. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was outstanding, <laughs> sir. I just do what I can do. We still got to make entry, though, and make sure the apartment's clear. All right.
Suspect tried to get through the wall in here. Tight for him to get through. He was a little guy, though. I think he could have made it through it. Yeah, absolutely yeah. successful. Got those kids out, got the suspect in custody. He gave up because it was futile. So I was outside, he knew it was on. Now, I'm going to go get my cup of coffee. <laughs>